Hello, everybody. This is Kelly Roth, director of the Las Vegas Dance and the Desert Festival. And we're here uh, at the uh, Las Vegas Clark County Library District's lovely Summerlin Library and Performing Arts Center. And we're going to be broadcasting this on the YouTube channel of the library virtually anywhere. It's called Virtually Anywhere. And what is our website? Uh, lvccld.org. lvccld.org. That stands for Las Vegas Clark County Library District. And we've been partnering with them for many years, and they have been a great supporter of dance in the desert. And dance is an art form, as is our special guest who will be presenting work virtually here in the festival. It's Festival 22, and that is the lovely. Lynn Lesniak Needle. What a great name, Lynn Lesniak Needle. I am so surprised. Oh, my. It's not Lynn Needle Lesniak, it's Lynn Lesniak Needle. Lesniak, what kind of name is that? Is that Eastern European? Uh, yes, thank you for your question, Kelly. Hello to everyone. Uh, Lesniak is actually Polish. Uh, my grandparents uh, were both from Poland, came off the boat to Ellis Island. And Lesniak actually means forest in Polish. And I was fortunate enough the last time I was at Dance in the Desert to perform that namesake solo, uh, Forest, which actually I did on point in a shredded recycled costume. Uh, so that was sort of an homage to my, uh, my, my legacy and my roots. So I have known you since about, when were you at the, the... Nikolai. Uh, uh, 1981. So it's been a very long time. Is that, that's, I, yeah. Yeah, that's it's a long almost time. 40 years. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I came time. to the dance lab as a graduate. I graduated from Connecticut College early. I left after three and a half years so I could get to New York as quickly as possible. And I was actually studying at the Graham studio. I was a devotee of the Graham technique. And, and I was fortunate enough to receive a national award for my choreography, and it was presented at the Kennedy Center. Uh, I was, I had just turned 20 years old, and Murray said, you know, they gave you feedback, which was fabulous. It's so right. great to get feedback. You know, they said, meet in room 223, and I'm running around the hallways of the Boston Conservatory. I, I got lost, of course. And I walked in the feedback session, you know, a couple minutes late, and Murray, uh, accosted me and he said why are you late who are you what's why what are you doing here and i said well i i choreographed cool way he said sit down what are you doing what's your name i want you to meet nick and, what was the, and what was the award name national award for choreography Great. from the american college dance festival association it was a dance magazine award so i didn't realize kelly i was so naive ignorance is bliss of course that i got a double page spread in dance magazine I probably have it in my library here somewhere. But Dance Magazine, of course, covered the concert. And then the national winners went on to the Kennedy Center. And we performed at the Terrace Theater at the Kennedy Center. And uh, then afterwards, Murray invited me to take class. And I told him I was at the Graham studio. And he said, uh, in not so many words, you know, don't waste your time. We want to yeah. have you come to the lab. And really what I realized was as much as I still love and respect the Graham technique, it's such an incredible foundation uh, for strength, virtuosity, for technical virtuosity, but it didn't really allow for choreography and improvisation, as you know. And when I was introduced to the Nikolai Lewis tradition, my brain and my imagination just exploded with excitement and possibilities because I love to improvise and I love to choreograph. Uh, so that was 1981, wow. and that's when I met you. And then you danced with for many years with the Nikolai Dance Theater, and then you I did all over I did. the world. Yeah. And uh, I was invited a couple of times to dance with the company, and it never worked out in terms of my schedule. And I had a family, and so uh, uh. I I regret not having had that opportunity. But but uh, you like is so incredible and I think one of the things Kelly that uh, I'd love to have the dancers understand is that you and I benefited from of course the dance lab had remarkable faculty but those years
Well, we have loved having you uh, over the years at the festival and I, uh, you've taught and uh, I have a video of you teaching great stuff. You know, what interesting about how you have evolved the Nikolai teaching and, and uh, floor warm up to see it evolve. When I, and that's the way I was with the Nikolai uh, teachings. I just kind of kept them in that capsule in which I received them. So when you came, I saw all this evolution in what you've done. And you've done mm -hmm. some really marvelous things with that. Uh, Louis Fuller was a, a, in some ways uh, related to the areas that we think of as Nick developing in terms of mm -hmm. lighting and the special effects uh, with dance and uh, extensions of the body and things. So I thought that was great. Now, I, you've done some similar stuff to that too um, in your mm -hmm. solo work, right? Uh, yeah, and using fabrics, right. Uh, ironically, right? Which have say that now. Yeah, yeah. In learning uh, Nikolai, say Nikolai repertoire, it was really wonderful to be cast as one of the only women, maybe one out of two women, uh, Jessica might have done it, uh, on his signature work where we're in, encapsulated in stretch fabric, which is now silver stretch fabric. And initially, there was sort of a neon color that Frank Garcia, we want to give it is uh, Nick's costume designer. Anyway, Lynn, uh, so fabulous to have you here. Tell us about the piece that you're going to share with us in the festival this year. Yes, I'm happy to. Thank you so much. So it's a duet that's been in the making about six years. It's called Ebb and Flow, and it's set to music by the Icelandic band Sigurás. Uh, it's to a piece of music called Egg Anda, which translates in Icelandic, ironically. Remember, this is six years old, but ironically, the translation is I breathe. Uh -huh. So it's very timely. Egg is I, right? First person, I breathe. And I uh, got uh, Andrew W. Mellon grant, an international grant for a teaching residency to go to the Universidad de Colima in Colima, Mexico. And I had gone there uh, thanks to Ruth because Ruth Grauert, Dr. Ruth Grauert, who just passed year at the age of 101 right. had a very strong relationship at Colima with the Ballet Folklorico and she encouraged me over years and years to go and visit Colima and you can't just pop on a plane and go without invitation it's very formal to bring guest artists in and really the Universidad de Colima is like the Juilliard of Mexico the dancers right. there are phenomenal anyway I went and developed an incredible relationship with Renata Guerra, who was a male ballet teacher. And unlike in America, there are so many in Mexico, they're just everywhere. And most of the classes are just about 50 female participants, which I find really fantastic. And I went there to teach for a week. And then I reciprocated and invited Renato to come to America and be mentored at Art of Motion at my studio where he met the company, he guest taught classes, etc. And I was so moved by his generosity and his wisdom. I thought, what to Mexico? And I thought, I'll create a piece. I'll give him a, a, a work for about 10 days, yeah, about five days. That was in 2015. Uh -huh. Started creating this duet, and of course he's a ballet dancer, so the ballet slippers stayed on, and he had his dress code and his formality. And I envisioned his pas de deux, because I thought when he went back, they're actually very gram trained. The, the uh, Zambaripa, the uh, artistic director of the, he's very strong as the foundation. I chose one of my very virtuosic female dancers, Jeanette Dishik, and I started creating a duet. And in the middle of creation, Renato's knee was bothering him. So I said, oh, sit down, sit down and rest. So then we started introducing the chairs. And then I thought, oh, the chairs. I don't want to, I want to damage this. It was, it was flaring up because we were doing little. Right. We became a part of it. We created he never got to perform showing a formal showing for our people in our town. 
Uh, and then he went back to Mexico and I gave him the video and the gift, uh, the freedom to set it on dancer, a female partner. Uh -huh. And his knee was not able to perform it, so it was never performed. Three years later, I met Francis Lawrence, who's a soloist from the Australian Ballet, and he came over from Australia from Dance Theater of Harlem where he was working and Francis learned the duet again a ballet dancer it's a very very difficult uh, technically difficult piece but Francis was sort of falling out of love with classical ballet and wanted to be introduced and exposed to modern dance as an art form so he was the perfect dancer for it uh, they performed it and premiered it through APAP of course the International New York uh, Showcase and then uh, I had another opportunity to perform it at Bergen Community College where I'm a professor and Francis wasn't available. So I taught it to Kent Lindemer from Palabolus, who came out to your wonderful festival with me uh, several years ago and Kent uh, performed it. So he brought some Palabolus mystery and flair to the role and I kind of fleshed it out even more with Kent uh, performing it. And then when we did it in the video that, that, that you will see, we had to bring Francis back in the role because Kent was in India uh, um, doing some trekking and, and hiking and he was unavailable for that. So it's really interesting, I think, on three men, Jeanette as a the female dancer, there three men is not easy. Nuance of the lip, tact and the the role got richer and richer and richer the more that we rehearsed on different we really want to make it love next year and have that, where it's the duet that the and add a section where we do it on uh, idea in my head to um to so um the premise is based very loosely on this idea of meeting and it could be a wallet, it could be a piece of this. And you'll it begins with a newspaper under his arm, which is by that, you know, you before, after work. Uh -huh. She has an old fashioned, you'll see the props duet. And then at the very end, it's a bit of a surprise, but the lights faded out too early. But I'll leave that as a surprise, what happens, and leave it up to your imagination. All right. So that's sort of the story of the, of the duet Ebb and Flow. It's really about the breath of when you meet someone randomly and they take your breath away, but you can't really talk with them to them because you don't really know them. So what's the etiquette in the culture? You know, in Asian culture, we just sort of, are very quiet and respectful, but Americans just say, hello, how are you? Right. And they tend to be more engaging. So it really is relationships. Well, that sounds fabulous to use an overused word and uh, I can't wait to see it. And it's been such, such a joy to be able to reconnect with you. I hope that you're staying well, you and your family. And it's so great to hear how active that you continue to be. It's always a reinforcement to me to keep going. And Thank you. Uh, I can't wait to get you out here again in person. Hopefully, hopefully. Maybe, Kelly, if, if, if people see, oh, thank you. If people see the duet and you envision, of, of course, yourself having someone learn it, that would be a, a lovely gift then to the festival to try to teach it to dancers. That would be So great. You, can, you can look at it with that in mind if you feel that there's someone that would like to learn it, that would be a fun project. I will do that, I will do that. Now we have this medium that we can teach long distance to. Um, all right, well, let me just say that this has been Lynn Lesniak Needle, whose family came from Poland and blessed, <laughs> blessed our country in this melting pot here. And, um, an old friend of mine, and this has been uh, Las Vegas Clark County uh, Library District, lbccld.org, and we will be presenting the work of Lynn and other great choreographers in the- and I have my beautiful award here, a treasure that you gave to me. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, can this you see it with my TV. blue? Las Vegas, I know, I've been trying to show those on TV too. It's very difficult, uh, but uh, this is the, the uh, 
Daffy Award, which is Dances and Art Form. Uh, yes. Presented to men. What year was that? 2014. 2014. Yes. Like was, yesterday. It feels yeah. like yesterday. Yeah. Where yeah. did it go? All right. And uh, so she is one of our honored recipients and, and for good Thank reason. Thank you. I wish we had been able to give one to Ruth Grauert, uh, who, as you said, just recently passed away at ah. 101. And another example to me of just to keep going till you can't go no more, because that, this is the mm -hmm. biggest gift I think we've been given. Anyway, stay healthy, Lynn, and thank you for being with us. And thank this you. Is broadcast, hopefully, hopefully it recorded <laughs> on the, uh, what is it called? Virtually Anywhere YouTube channel of the library district. Great. Thank you, Great. Lynn. Lovely. Art of Motion Dance Theater.